Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my This Is Me project pan. I am doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies and they are linked in the description box as always, including some info about this project, but long story short, this is based on The Greatest Showman movie and it is amazing if you haven't watched it already. I have seen some videos from the other ladies that some of them haven't seen it and that's a shame. It's a really, really good movie and it has a really, really great message. 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 Can't talk. We are doing this in different ways. Some of us based on our panning style and just some, a lot of products that just describe them. And I have a little bit of both. And if you want to know what products are linked to what, you should check out my intro because now I'm just going to talk about the products and the progress. It will take too long if I'm going to repeat myself for the next six months because we are doing this until March, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, March 28th. So I can't believe we have already <laughs> been a month into this project. I was I sat down to do my makeup today and I was like, when is the update for This Is Me? And then I was like, that's tomorrow. Okay, then we need to film the update today. So, we are filming the update and I have my 10 makeup products because I chose makeup only. <laughs> A lot of the other ladies chose beauty and I totally get why, but I was not that smart. I wasn't. The first one I want to talk about is my blush from W7. It is called Candy Floss and this is a bright pink, cool tone pink. Yeah. I was going to say shadow, that's a blush. I have it on today. The camera kind of washes it out. When I apply it, it is a stark, bright, baby pink. I love it though. It's really, really nice. So you can see some brush marks and that I have used it. It doesn't look brand new anymore, which is nice. Um, I can't see any dip forming or anything because I literally just tap, tap and then apply here and then I tap tap and apply again. I don't swirl or anything because it's too it's so pigmented. It's so pigmented that I would look like a clown that uh, was supposed to be in the great showman circus. So um I prefer not to look like a clown on work so I have been enjoying it though. It's really nice. It is, it is, and it is, um, there's some shimmer, glittery things in it, so it's shiny. I like that. Then we have the W7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. Oh yeah, this project is very heavy <laughs> W7 based, just so you know. This is the Matte Dreamer Loose Powder, and I have been loving this so much. At the blue line, that was where I was in the intro, and now I'm down to the black line. I'm really excited about that progress. I actually thought I would was doing this, but yeah, here we are. This is really, really nice progress. And I can definitely tell there are less product in the container. Um, definitely, but that this is where we are. Maybe it's slanted or something, I don't know, but that's my progress. Then we have the W7 Sparkle Stay. I would say. Uh, glitter primer, it is getting a little bit rough. Um, I have used this a handful of times. I was very good the first week and then I just kind of sl slacked about it. Um, I don't use a glitter primer that often because I don't really use glittery shades right now that really needs a glitter primer. Um, I was thinking that this could be instead of a cream shadows but, but not really. Um, yeah, I need to be better at that. I'm I'm kind of still at the same marking, maybe a little bit below, but I didn't I didn't use any energy to mark this again. <laughs> I don't think there's a purpose for that. The foundation that I have is in, in this project and yes it is too dark for me, but I actually Yes, I bought the same foundation in the light of shade so I could mix it for my perfect shade and that works. The mixer was so, so, so much more expensive than the foundation itself that I can use in the winter time. And I like the foundation, so it, I didn't really mind. Um, 
It's the Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation from W7. And this is where I were and this is where I am now. So not a lot of progress, but I have not been focusing solely on this. Uh, plus I am mixing it when I use this. So a few pumps of this and a few pumps of that. Yeah. Um, it will go by slowly, but I'm using it and I enjoy it and I don't mind it. So that does what matters. It, it's, it's okay. I like it. <laughs> We have the declutter item. This is the the W7 Thick and Thin Felt Eyeliner. I don't like this. This skips. It's dry. It takes so long for me to just get a line on it, and I don't like it. It uh, it has a massive tip. I don't mind that per se, but it's just really really annoying and dry. I think it's expired. So. This is going in the trash, and to replace that, I chose a new. <laughs> not a, a few liquid liners that I really wanted to get some use out of before I... I don't want to, but I, I kind of have to declutter these by the end of the year because they are getting older and they are going right above my eyeball. So I think... Um, yeah, and, and plus I don't really use them. So I really wanted to put them in this project just to play with them. It is the NYX vivid bright eyeliners the green the purple and the blue i had the purple in my whole collection project pen um at the beginning of the year and really liked playing with some purple eyeliner so i thought i was going to play with the two other as well um to get some use out of it and this is just one item until the end of the year so I'm fine with that and I'm actually excited to be <laughs> playing around with some color even though it is fall and winter time. An item that I haven't used at all, it is the, okay, that's a lie, I've used it once. It is the W7 Night Light Highlighter or something like that. It is really brightening so I can use it kind of as a highlight corrector thing before my concealer and foundation but I just forget it every single time and then I have done my foundation and powder and then I was like Dang, <laughs> I should have used this. It's still there. I can still manage to get it done. I just need to remember to use it. I just... A concealer that I have not focused a lot on, but I have used a few times. Um, it is the W7 Hideout Full Cover Concealer. It is a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear. And that is also why I haven't used it, because I'm actually panning the uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in my Graveyard Project Pan. I am in between that mark right there. I was kind of at the top of the mark, so I can't mark it again. <laughs> but I'm using it uh, here and there and I really, really like it. And the MAC Pro Longwear is rolling out of my routine in a few days, so that's fine. And I will use that for sure now. Then I have my lip liner from eBay. It is a wood lip liner pencil or something. Um, in shade 15 so this is a dark berry color as you can see here just jammed it today because it was getting low and it is what i have underneath the li lip gloss and lipstick in this project as well um so let me show you the progress here it is i'm really excited because i don't use a ton of it each time i do my makeup i use it every single um day in the work week so i'm really excited about that so um, let's see how well i do on this it, it's not going as fast as i wanted to but it's really really dark and i don't want to use really dark lipstick in the work days one i have used only today on top of the um, lip gloss it is the kiss and trip holographic lipstick from w7 i have only used it once so it's not really great um, progress on my part, but I really wanted to play around with some lipstick that I don't really use every day. So I've used it today and played around and I like it. It's not amazing, but it's only because I use it on top of a lip gloss, I think, um, that is much around a little bit. It would be more opaque on top of the lip liner itself, I think. This is the Gush Intense Lip Color in... A purple pink shade 
yeah i'm at the vet mark right there i have used this handle full of times as well and i do think i can finish this i just need to be better at using it and i do think i can be better from now on um i have no excuse no excuse that is just me not very good at prioritizing my products that i'm panning but yeah, some of them are in daily rotation and some of them are in like a weekly something rotation. I find it fine. I'm using it here and there and that is what matters to me because it's not just sitting there untouched, if you know what I mean. So that is everything for this project. I hope... Oh, update. Video. Not project. It is until March. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below if you're new here, if you come from the other people's channel, ladies channels, accounts. My name is Elizabeth and I'm from Denmark and I liked, I like chocolate <laughs> and I really like movies and TV shows and I'm obsessed with makeup. I do a lot of project planning on my channel and empties and palette bingos and shopping my stash. So if you want to see more of that, please subscribe down below. And until my next video, please take care. Bye.